in here moaning and groaning all the way down the hall in my room. You got me ready to look up under the bed and make sure he ain't got no little boy in here. What's going on with you? You don't look like you feel good either, do you? You're burning up, actually. You got you a little fever. I can feel that right now. But um, let me tell you something. Your auntie, I used to volunteer down at the free clinic back in the day. And um, I believe I still got my boo-boo bag back there in my room. Um, It's just a little bag with, you know, a little health care stuff in it. Nothing too serious. But it ain't nothing in that bag that can't clear up whatever you got, okay? I'm going to go get that bag and I'm going to go get you a wet face cloth so I can put it over your forehead and try to break that fever for you, all right? Yeah, I would take you to the hospital, darling, but um, your mama sent you down here with no health insurance and um, these hospital bills down here be high. I don't want to foot the bill for you, okay? You, know, you my niece and all and I love you, but... I can't do that for you, all right? But I'll, I'll do the best I can with these Southern Home Remedies, all right? All right, now, you just give me one second. I'll be right back, okay? All right, yes, here it is, darling. I got my hair boo-boo bag for you. Everything in here we gonna use to get you right back to feeling normal, all right? Yeah, I put Cousin Dexter outside because he was barking real loud. So I hope you don't hear him. I don't want him to disturb your sleep, okay? So the first thing we're going to do, I'm just going to check your heartbeat for you. You know, nothing too serious. This ain't going to hurt bad. Just use this. Make sure your heart beating like it should. Okay. Breathe in for me, dear. Now breathe out. Inhale for me, darling. And exhale. All right, that's the last one. I want you to do a really deep breath in. And a really deep breath out. All right, well, your heartbeat sounds completely normal. But we're going to just check your temperature just to be on the safe side, okay? So I got this here digital thermometer. Um, it works in 60 seconds and it's fast and accurate. So what I'm going to need you to do is open your mouth and lift your tongue. And when you do that, I'm going to stick this under your tongue and it's going to give me an accurate reading of your temperature, okay? It's not going to hurt. Just open your mouth and lift your tongue. And how long have you been feeling like this, sugar? Oh, that's okay. Well, you think you might have got cooties from that boy? Yeah, that might be it. Last thing I need is for your mama to think that you got sick down here. Off some of my cooking. All right, well, your temperature is very high. You are at 107 degrees, and that's not good. But yeah, anything, anytime my food has never made somebody sick, it's always been on purpose, okay? I ain't never got nobody sick on my food on accident. You remember that now. But let me see what it is I can do for you. So I'm noticing um, this might not contribute to how you feeling inside but on the outside I can tell um I can look in your eyes and tell you wasn't feeling good you got these red bags under your eyes but it's okay I got something to go ahead and smooth that down and it's probably gonna break that fever for you too but before that let me go ahead and put your cold face cloth on your your forehead here you go Make sure that's on there nice and comfortable. And you don't have to lift the finger. I got everything for you, okay? So, we was talking about them bags under your eyes now. I got this um, stress relief lotion. It's got eucalyptus and spearmint in it. 
and that's gonna put a cooling sensation under your eyes it's also gonna be cold on this rolling ball here too this only just gonna massage it into your eyes gently okay so what I'm gonna do is take some of this and place it under your eyes. I'm gonna just rub some under your eyes. Do that one again. And I'll put another one on this one again. All right, now I got this here rolling ball. I'm gonna take the excess and put it on there. Got this here rolling ball. Now this is cold too. And I'm going to just use it to massage this under your eyes. That's one. And I'm going to massage it under this eye. That's two. I'm sorry if you hear Cousin Dexter barking in the background. He don't like being outside, but I just want peace and quiet in here for you while you relax and trying to get better, okay? I massage this under there too. Alright. Now how's that feeling for you? Well I may as well just go ahead and put this all over your face. Cause um it's gonna bring that temperature down. Okay. I just go ahead and rub it all over your face and down the side and down your nose underneath your lips your chin and the sides of your face again I'm gonna have to lift up your your cold washcloth so I can rub it up under there too all right, now, that should bring your temperature down a little bit, okay? Now, um, you said your eyes was itching too? All right, that's no worry, let me tell you. I got this dry eye relief. Now, this ain't regular um eye drops. These are medicated eye drops. They come in a glass bottle. Not none of that plastic stuff you used to, okay? So just to make this easier for you, I'ma put these in with your eyes closed. Just close your eyes, I'ma place them on your eyelids. Then when I tell you to open your eyes, they're just gonna fall into your eye, okay? So you can go ahead and close your eyes now. And I'ma start with your right eye first. I'll move over to your left eye. Right, you can go ahead and open your eyes now, dear. Instant relief. I'm telling you, don't you feel better? Yeah, see, these southern remedies may sound strange, but they usually work. I'm telling you. Now, you may not like this part, but it's very essential. Your nose stuffed up, correct? got something to clear that all up. I have ammonia inhalant solution or smelling salts if you will. Now what this is going to do is going to clear up your sinuses so that when I give you this medicine to get all that mess up out your body, it's going to come straight out. You, can, you ain't going to be too congested. Your nasal, your nasal part of your nose ain't going to be swollen. Everything is just going to come right out. Okay, so I got this here supposed to break it open and I want you to inhale but don't do it too hot don't do it too fast now because you might get high so just lightly inhale and exhale till you feel your sinuses opening up see I told you you're feeling better already now ain't you Alright, we just got a few more things to do. I'm telling you, it's nothing bad at all. Got a few more things to do. And then, I'm going to leave you here to rest, okay? And if you can't sleep, I got something to help you sleep, too. 
to down here. We take a lot of cod liver oil or fish oil. I'm gonna just give you this fish oil today. And I actually got some in here to where you don't even have to open your hands to take it. Just grab a peel for you. Just this one, open your mouth please. I got your water. Hang on one second. All right, I got your water here. Open it up for you. Sorry, I messed my thumb up a few weeks ago, and I ain't been able to do everything the same since. All right, just open your mouth, and I'll um, pour this in there for you. Matter of fact, no, you laying down. I'll let you do it yourself. All right, so now I got you some chest rub. Now, when I put this on your chest, it's going to make you cough up everything that you got to feel, okay? All that phlegm and all that nasty stuff. This is nasal decongestant, cough suppressant, and topical analysis. It's ointment, okay? It's topical ointment. I'm gonna put some of this, rub it on your chest. Girl, you ain't got nothing I ain't seen before. Pull that shirt on down. Put some more. This is going to send you straight to sleep, I'm telling you. And when you wake up, you're going to have all that stuff coming up out of you, all right? You're just going to wake up feeling brand new. So, for your age, you can take a whole cup. But down here, we eyeball it. We barely use the cup. We always use the top part to lose it, but it's okay. We don't really need it. I just post some in here. Here you go. Didn't taste bad at all, right? This is cherry flavor right here. Yep. Okay. Well, let me see if there's anything else in here that we could use. All right, the last thing is me having these antibacterial wipes. I'm going to wipe down everything in here for you just to be sure no germs is going to spread. We're going to contain everything in this bed. Got you a trash can right here in case you need to throw up. You call me on your new cell phone if you need me to bring you any food. You run out of water, anything like that. You need to cough up anything. The trash can is still right here, but I'm going to wipe everything down. Then I'm going to check your temperature again, okay? Just to see if it's gone down a little bit. Lord, I ain't used these things for so long. The moisture done gone out of them. But that's okay. I got some Clorox wipes in the kitchen. That's no problem at all. I'll just come back in here. I'll check the temperature first. That night cool should start kicking in by the time I get back in here with the wipes. I'ma just disinfect everything and hopefully tomorrow you're feeling brand new, okay? So I'll just go and check your temperature one more time. If I can get the thermometer out the box. Alright, you know the routine. Open your mouth and lift your tongue. We keep this between you and I, okay? Your mom don't even have to know you got sick. All 
right, so you've actually gone down to 103, which ain't bad at all. I can I can work with 103. I can work with that. But when you wake up in the morning, you should be on back down to the 90s, okay? But if you get the feeling any worse than you do now, you give me a call. I'm going to be right down the hallway, okay? You take my booty bag. You got your water here in case you need it. Well, I love you, darling. There's nothing I wouldn't do for you except for take you to the hospital and get a high hospital bill when you know you don't you don't need it. I'm telling you, these Southern Home Remedies may sound strange, but they work almost every time. All right, I hope you start to feeling better, dear, and I told you, my line is always open for you, okay, especially when you're sick. All right, I'll be in here to check on you in a while, okay? I got to go get the Clorox wipes so I can wipe my doorknobs and everything you can touch down, all right? I'm going to wash the sheets for you and everything when you get up tomorrow, okay? All right, bye-bye. Good night.